everyone again. Um, thanks for watching these videos. Hopefully you all are enjoying them. Let's run over to check my cows. I got them over on the neighbors cornfield. Oh, you got some corn, you got soybeans, you got some wheat stubble that we've planted cover crop on. Radishes and turnips and rape and peas and and whatnot and I thought well while I was on my way over here I thought I'd show a I thought I'd show you guys a, a cover crop field. We're gonna graze it here pretty soon so there won't be a whole lot left here shortly so I thought well I better get this video made. I've been wanting to do it but I just haven't took the time getting ready to leave to go on vacation and when I get back the cows will probably be on this field I hope I think the field that they're on right now is a little bit short here's the cover crop and th this field isn't the best field of cover crop um, the guy we probably should uh, let the wheat come and then spray the wheat off Here's a field to cover crop, and our our field to cover crop on the oats ground that we bailed is a lot better than this. And it actually, there is a lot of stuff out here. Um, let's go out here and do a little walking. For some reason, we spot this field so spotty. I don't know what it is. You know, you right there. There's hardly anything. And down here you go, and, and this, before, you know, the snow came and before it got cold, this cane was all, you know, about five foot tall. And uh, you can look down in the midst of the cane, and here's a radish, and uh, there's barley in here, there's, there's a lot of stuff, and you can't see it now that it's all dead, but there's... A lot of dry matter out here. There's another radish. Them there. And I'm not sure how they're gonna eat these ones that are froze off. Um, I hope they eat them good. But you can see they're still almost, almost got some green leaf to them yet. Um, we had uh, some cows on some cover crop earlier this fall, and it was a lot better than, it's a lot taller than this, and a lot thicker. Um, I'm not having the competition from the wheat, but we uh, we had 90 cows on 45 acres. Cool, that definitely smells like a radish. I bet they'll eat that. Big old root. There's a lot of mass there. Um, but anyhow, we had 90 cows on 45 acres for about 30 days, and. Uh, you do the math on that, that's pretty good return. There's not very many crops that you can run that many cows on. We did put uh, bales out. Every, you know, we put bales out in a bale feeder, on a trailer, trailer bale feeder. And uh, we've done that just because there, there's a lot of radishes and turnips and we didn't want them not having enough forage to eat. And they end up averaging, the month that they were there, they end up averaging, eating about, roughly about a bale a day. The first 20 days, they maybe ate five bales altogether, and then the last 10 days, they really started to go after it. Um, but they were getting to the point where there wasn't a lot of cane left, or hay grazer left in it and there was just a lot of uh, radishes left because our cow has never been on radishes and turnips before and I think it must take them a little while to catch on to eating it and then once they do then they they eat it pretty good and they do very well on it our, my cows I brought them home from my pasture up north and put them into well, it'll be this field over there and I think this only has 15 acres of cover crop 
and probably about 60 acres of corn stalks and some trees where there's grass in the trees and stuff and I mean they look really good and they've been out there for well, quite a while there's still this cover crop there's about an 80 acre field of cover crop so we should be able to run a lot of cows out there for quite a while um, there's a lot of stuff out there and you drive up to this one I keep on going up here drive up, up here a little ways and there's corn stalks there but um we can just electric fence where there's not a barbed wire fence it'd be a lot really good with electric fence and it seems like every day the cows um they still come over and nibble out here on this cover crop that's over here where you can tell that there's not a whole lot left and I guess it's probably considered to be overgrazed um as far as a cover crop standards go but um, the guy wanted us to eat it off have our cows eat it off so that's what we're doing and and I guess our cover crop fields you know they have a little bit more left than that but once it freezes and all the green dries up all those radishes and turnips they they disappear pretty quick like when we're once it freezes you know they don't last very long I um, got a rye field up here that I planted really late this fall and I'm gonna hopefully hay that in the spring and we will go from there. I guess anyone has questions or whatever about cover crop, I guess I will sure answer them to my knowledge, I guess. I don't know a lot about them. This is our first year doing very much on our farm. My dad and my brother and my farm. We've actually got uh, planted about 200 acres of cover crops and we have not fed the cows yet this fall. Um, I guess we did for a very short period right after we weaned because we didn't want the cows trying to go through the electric fence. That's my cover or my rye field there. Um, there's a bottom that was not able to be farmed last year because it was so wet and I went out there and planted rye into it and hopefully I get a rye crop otherwise I guess I don't but we'll see. Um, but anyhow we uh, I guess I don't remember what I was talking before I showed you that but I guess, please comment, rate, and subscribe for more. Thank you.